Okay, Bolo Buddies, be prepared to have your socks knocked off. This is an amazing Bolo video. I have featured this seller before and he is a major Bolo finder. So stay tuned for some big, and I do mean big money Bolos. Here we go. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. seller. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, these Bolos are going to knock your socks off. This store is just unbelievable. The Bolos he finds, just wait, just wait. Amazing. He is like a Bolo finder for sure. So um, I'm going to link his uh, Facebook group down below. I'll link his eBay store and I am going to link his YouTube channel. So let me start by showing you guys a few things here. And the first thing I want to show you is this. And the reason I have it pulled up like has, um, I don't like to show like other people's private like comments and stuff like that. So um and the new Facebook, I don't know, I'm still getting familiar with it. But anyway, this is group. This is what you'll see at the top. It says eBay Life. And it's resellers, research group, flippers, sellers, thrifters, buyers, and more. And again, I will link it down in the description. It is a fantastic group. YouTube channel. And he's kind of uh, getting into jewelry. And I know that sounds funny because it's usually the ladies that you see digging through the jewelry, but I will tell you this guy knows his stuff. So um, if you watch his um, unboxing videos, you will definitely learn. Um, he gets a lot of these um, mystery jewelry jars at like the Goodwill and stuff like that. So definitely go check out some of those. He doesn't post like on a regular basis or anything like that, but um, definitely subscribe to him. And when he does, I'm Pretty sure you're going to learn something. And his store is HodgePodge, and I will link it down in the description. But right now, we are going to get started with the first huge, did I say huge, huge bolo. Are you guys ready for this? Okay. So I remember when you picked this up, and it was kind of a long tail item because um, I, it was a while ago. But you guys, this is a vintage rare 1970s Briar Cast Iron St. Bernard Bird Stop. Check this thing out. Okay. He paid up for this at a flea market. He paid $80 for it. But he's like, I just had a good feeling about it. Well, that good feeling turned into $900. Yes, 900 big ones, you guys, right there. Check it out. Like, would you ever have thought that this was worth $900? I certainly would not have. So I'm always learning from, he's very, very, he's a wealth of knowledge. Definitely, I cannot say it more. Go check out his Facebook group. Okay, so this is a Sweden Sterling CG Hallberg Blue Pin Brooch Butterfly. It's rare. It's from 1918, you guys. And he said that he believes that the person bought it to put in, um, let me see if I can find where he wrote. He gave me a little bit of information on it. Like a catalog for like a picture in a catalog. Um, it was in a sterling silver lot that he bought. So he paid about $8 for it. And he took a best offer of 565. And he says, I believe to a person who is putting it in a pricing guide and using it as like a sample. So he said he did have it listed for a while. So he took a best offer of $695. Are you kidding me? You guys, he got it in a jewelry jar. Look at that. I'm trying to get you there. There's the, um, is that called a Hallmark, I think? There you go. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So I always say this wrong, I think. Sorvorsky. <laughs> it's kind of like aluminum. Aluminum. I'm getting better at that one. Savorsky. Okay. So he bought a whole bunch of this Savorsky crystal stuff. 
and he paid eight hundred and fifty dollars for all of it. Um, so eight hundred and fifty dollars for all of it. He said he's in the green at fourteen hundred dollars, and he still has quite a bit left to sell. So he did pay up for this lot, but you know Eddie has a great eye. He knows what to look for, so he knew that he would definitely make money. So pretty cool. I would not want to ship that. So I believe that one sold for full asking price of 650. The next item. Okay, you guys, this is so, so cool. So have you guys seen the te television series TV show? It's called This Is Us. You need to watch for this crib. So they bought it for a prop for This Is Us, the show. And he's like, it might be a spoiler. I'm like, I don't think it's a spoiler because I watched that show. And um, the one gal is pregnant with twins, I believe. But anyhow, I don't know if This Is Us has another crib, if they're going to put both babies in the same crib. Anyway, so we all need to watch for this crib on the show. This, How cool is that? I can be like, oh my gosh, I know who sold that crib to them. But he said that they um, asked if they could pick the crib up. So they sent somebody to um, pick it up from him. So how cool is that? And that one, um, he paid $40 for. And I believe they paid the full asking price. The next item is this mug. So Eddie collects and loves mugs and jugs and stuff like this. So it's kind of in his wheelhouse of knowledge. So. Um, he will pay up for things like this because he knows that they have a high value. So this one he got at an estate auction and he paid $125 for it and it sold for $345 plus shipping. It's a, oh, is it Hewell? 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 Pottery? Harold and Grace Nell. It's a large, rare face jug. So it's pottery. It says Georgia Big. I don't know what any of that means, but to the right buyer, it means something. To me, it means I'd be like face jug. That would be my description. And I'd get like way less money for it. The next item is this vintage Onyx chest chess set. And he got this at a thrift store. <laughs> and the reason I'm laughing is because it says estate find in the title. But you know, I'm sure that it came from an estate. It just got dropped off at the thrift store. Anyway, I'm covering for you, Eddie, but he uh, he paid uh, $20 for it at a thrift store. Either that or he forgot where he really got it. So here it is. 325 big ones. Very cool. And, you know, I know a lot of people will put a state find or um, and stuff like that in their title, too, because people search that keyword. So. The next item is this vintage ecstatic model JT30 microphone. He got this, wait for it, for $1 at a garage sale. He said he did not know what he had. He said it was in the original box. It was a dollar. He figured the box was worth a dollar. And this thing works, you guys. It's working and it sold for $325. How cool is that? The next item is this rare MCM brutalist, which is a great word for this type of item, descriptive word that people search, articulated brass six candle holder. I will also tell you that Eddie specializes. I mean, I don't know if he specializes, but I have done a lot of his videos. I've uh, done, but oh my gosh, I cannot talk. I'm so sorry. I have done a lot of featured seller Bolo videos on his store and he sells a lot of brass. So I'm going to call him a brass specialist compared to me. He's a brass specialist. Um, he's not really like trained in it or anything. Uh, so he got this at a thrift store for $3 and I think it sold for $325. He may have taken a best offer on that one. Not 100% sure. Let me... Um, you know what? I'm not going to check my notes. Either way, he probably sold it for close to that, if not full asking. He usually tells me when he takes the best offer. So I think it went for full asking price. 
The next item is this vintage Cortophile, Cortophile houndstooth men's coat. Uh, he got this at a thrift store for $8 and it sold for $315 and the buyer paid the shipping. This is a Northwood opalescent Vaseline uranium glass fluted scrolls with vine footed vase. This is another reason why Eddie sells stuff for so much because he has fantastic key words. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know all of those keywords. I'd probably be messaging him like, how do I list this? What should, what keywords? I have like, I'll message him and then I have Leah's bits and pieces who I um, message a lot because I'm not great with keywords because I'm still learning, but he is a fantastic go-to. Uh, let's see, what did he say here? Thrift store, $2 and sold it for $245 plus shipping. Took a best offer on that one. The next item is this vintage W.E.K. Will Kirkpatrick Puffin Wood Carving Decoy Bird. You guys have turd, turd, you guys have turd me. You guys, sorry, have heard me talk about the duck decoys. And those are definitely a bolo. I've never seen a bird one, but this is pretty cool. He uh, got this at a thrift store for $5, but he did say that it took over a year to sell. But hey, for that so sold price, $260 plus shipping, worth the wait. The next item is this solid brass Zippo lighter, Harley Davidson, vintage and rare. He got this at a yard sale for $5 and sold it for $240. Pretty cool. The next item is... Uh, Rebit, Ribbit, Rebit, I don't know. Puzzle, puzzle, puzz, 3D puzzle, game, jigsaw, San Francisco town trolley, 1512 pieces. Oh, yeah, 500 pieces open. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if he counted the pieces. Let's see what he wrote. Condition is used. The box is not in the best shape as it was on the bottom of a pile when moving. Built the puzzle. And then forgot about the box, but it's still there. All puzzle pieces are accounted for and bagged inside the box. Wow. They built it. No way, Jose. That would take forever. Uh, he best offer $150 on that one. It doesn't say where he got it. So I don't know if that was like his from his personal collection or what. The next item is this antique U.S. automatic pencil sharpener. 907 fully working guys picked this up at a yard sale for $15 sold it for 190 plus shipping the next item is this rare and I always say Kuji but somebody said it's Kuji I don't know I think Kuji sounds better than Kuji but comment below and let me know I know you guys will let me know um so Cosby Biggie those are two uh, common words that you will see in the title of these sweaters. Hip hop is another one. This he got at the Goodwill. He doesn't say what he paid for it, but he sold it for $175 plus shipping. The next item, The Simpsons, the uh, Bartman meets Radioactive Man Nintendo NES Complete um, CIB. Excellent. CIB stands for Complete in Box. He said that he searched comps on this. He priced it. $30 higher than um, the sold comps and it sold fast. So he is increasing the value of the item by um, pricing it higher than the comps. So that's good because a lot of people are pricing things low and then undercutting everyone and then the prices of items go down. So the next item is another one of the Savorsky items. This is an ornament, a snowflake ornament from 1995. It sold for $162.50. The buyer paid the shipping and this was an auction and it had nine bids. Next up is this uh, tape dispenser with tape rolls. It's vintage uh, 3M. How cool is that? This one came, oh, I'm sorry. The Simpsons, the one before that came from a thrift store and he paid three bucks for it. The tape dispenser he got for $5, took a best offer of $85, and the buyer paid shipping, and he did not say where he got it. Okay, so I'm not really sure 
sure what this is. It says bronze fairway, 200 yard marker, golf links. No clue, but he got it for five bucks and took a best offer of $90 plus shipping. The next item is this antique brass sleigh bells and it's uh, MBS, Moses B. Smucker. And it is rare. He got this at a thrift store for $5, $5 and took a best offer of, oh, nope, I'm sorry. That was for the other one. So I think he sold this for full asking price, price of 125 plus shipping. The next item he sold is this rare Korean war photo. Um, he said that this did take um, over a year to sell because he was firm on the price. It sold for $125 and he picked this up at an estate for $10. The next item is this vintage leather professional marble bag carrier. Um, he said it was handmade one of a kind. How cool is that? Pretty cool, right? Uh, that one, he got at a yard sale for three bucks. He took a best offer of $105. How amazing. The next item is this Estee Lauder nesting duck solid perfume compact. He said he picked up eight of these at a thrift store. They were a dollar each. Look, it's still got the perfume in it. How cool is that? And, um, a dollar each at the at the thrift store and he sold this for $95 plus shipping. The next item he sold is this vintage marbles Gladstone design AG Russell safety axe hatchet Celine Solingen Germany. I don't know how to say that. Sorry. Uh, Facebook market pace place. He paid $30 free shipping and he sold it for 115 plus shipping. So he picked it up on Facebook and sold it on eBay. The next item is the steam mask. He picked it up the day after Halloween for a dollar at the thrift store, and he took a best offer of $100 plus shipping. The next item is another one of the Sororsky crystal. This is a dragon, and this one he auctioned. It sold for $100 plus shipping. The next item is this thirst extinguisher drink mixer shaker with spout vintage. Store five dollars, so hundred bucks plus shipping. I told you guys, he is a bolo finder for sure. This crocodile Milton Bradley dentist game. It works and it is complete. It's from 1990. He got it at a thrift store for five dollars and he sold it for eighty-five dollars plus shipping. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that I do have a bolo category video where I talk about board games that are bolos. So definitely go check that out. The next item is this Collier's Magazine, February 13th, 1909, you guys. It's an antique magazine with Lincoln on the cover. How cool is that? He got this at a yard sale for $1 and sold it for 90 plus shipping. The next item is this new old stock bike number 10 men's sport sporter jock. So it's a jock strap, you guys. It's new old stock. It's in the original box. These things are a bolo. I sold one. I was excited to find it, but when I took it out, it um, was kind of had some yellowing just from being sitting in the packaging without plastic around it and probably not stored properly. So mine ended up being a bread and butter, but they can definitely be a bolo. He took a best offer of 75 and he picked this up for $3. The next up, item are these old stock cotton undershirts jc penny size 40 six shirts new um he got these at a thrift store for three dollars took a best offer of 60 plus shipping this rare bruce lee dragon mug he couldn't find pumps so he just priced it high it sold in about four months for the 65 dollars and he got it at the goodwill for two dollars and the buyer paid shipping this vintage Diamond Dallas Page Wrestling Buddies plush pillow, WWF. This one came from a thrift store. He paid 50 cents for it and he sold it for 50 plus shipping. This, you guys, I'm so sorry. I could not find it on the list. So um, either I didn't send him the picture or he missed the picture when he sent me the info. So I don't know what he paid for it or where he got it, but it was super cool and I wanted to leave it in the video. He, uh, for $50 in the buyer paid shipping. 
Okay, so I knew about this Bolo. It's the um, Monsters, Milton Bradley Monster Old Maid game. It's incomplete. He said it's missing three cards. Um, I have sold these without the packaging, incomplete, and it mine were a Bolo also. So definitely be on the lookout for these. I mean, people probably sell these cards individually also for the people that have the whole game and need these three cards. So you could also part it out, but more work, more time. So this one he got at a yard sale. He paid $1 for it and it sold for 55 plus shipping. Okay, so here's the story on this. He said, I bought a set off someone on Facebook. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. I bought a set off someone on my Facebook friends list for 140. Broke the set down and sold piece by piece. He said, I'm already 80 in the green and have three speakers left sold the wires first. So these wires are Bose speaker cables and he sold these for $44 plus shipping. And then he had another sold. I didn't show them both, but um, he sold some of the other wires. I can't remember what it was for, but I saw it in a store. If you guys want to go down, you can look at his solds by going to the uh, link in the description. So this is Pimpernel, I think, Pimper, Pimpernel, Pimpernel, I don't know, they're Hummingbird, um, Placemats and Coasters by Richard Lowe. And these came from the thrift store. He paid $5 and he sold them for $65 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Black Panther Cougar ceramic ashtray. He said there was a chip on it, so he got it for $1 at a yard sale trying to find the chip. Pretty cool piece. I don't see a chip. There's the chip. <laughs> so it kind of blends in. Not too bad. The next item is this new old stock Pyrex, Pyrex two liter juice jug. Um, he got three of these for $10. So um, what, $9 and some cents each. He sold one for 40 and he has one left. And I don't know if the other one was a different listing, but the buyer paid shipping. So pretty cool. New old stock. Definitely, definitely always be on the lookout for new old stock items. I do have a Bolo category video on new old stock also. All right, guys, here is his store. It is going to be linked in the description of the video. Check out his Facebook group and his YouTube channel. And again, I will have links for all of those things down in the description of the video. Let me know, did you knock off your socks? Are your socks still on? Oh my gosh, it's almost midnight. <laughs> I'm going share, leave me a comment down in the description, you know, just say something about your socks and I'll have to be like, what are they talking about socks? Be sure to check out the description of the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.